Is there something you feel real good about as far as your unit right now? Is there anything that kind of stands out that you feel pretty good about? Um, you know, we got a, <laughs> I'd say this, we got a high character room they show up here to work and learn every day. We got great kids and that's that's how it is right now. We got a lot of work to do to get a lot better. And, uh, but man, they're a, it's great every day working with them. And, well, this coach is very fortunate He's with the Notre Dame kids. Brian, we were talking about the players being able, second time through, being able to ask you questions. Joe Schmidt thinks that maybe you think he asks too many questions. Yeah, they talk. talk. They talk a lot, you know. <laughs> They're so darn smart, they want to, they all want to talk. And But no, I'm saying that kind of kiddingly. But no, Joe's, Joe's uh, is quite a football player I've ever coached. So his thoughts and his his uh, details of it require a lot of conversation because he he doesn't want any gray area you know, he wants it very detailed and very exact and he wants it that way because he feels like he's you know when he's on the field he's not just learning middle linebacker he's learning all the positions right and he wants to make sure uh, that they can trust him and that he's on top of exactly what everybody's doing I, I asked him if the more he learns about your defense, the more questions he has just because of his inquisitive nature. And yeah. I mean, I heard him ask you a couple questions today, yeah. and I, you responded as if they were good questions. Yeah. Oh, he has good questions. He has good questions. You know, the young player sometimes, not like a coach that's yeah. been in yeah. it a long time. But Joe's asking Some, like a coach. Sometimes their, their question will be, you know, kind of around the exact, organization of the question or we could skip a lot of things if it was just asked this way you know and the players don't 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 quite understand that sometimes and it ends up being longer and we like to have quick talk in football so if the questions are direct and not overthought about going from this to this to this to this and it's really direct then we can have really good you know conversation especially on the field right and Joe's and Joe's learning that he's not yeah. a football coach he's just a very bright player right. But the, 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 it's better served in the classroom, in the meeting room, to ask those questions, right? As, a, as opposed to the field where you're trying no, to get... No, I mean, I think it's, I think that Joe's going to bring a good... On the field, Joe will bring a good question. Yeah. You know, he's very... And, and, you know, when you're standing on the sideline watching a game, it's so hard on the sideline, especially, you know, on the far side. And uh, one of the valuable things you learn as a coach is a player that can tell you what happened exactly. Right on something you can't see is is very, very important. I had a player today, I asked him what happened, he couldn't tell me. He was a young player. Yeah. And um, he came right in, watched the film, came up to tell me. And I said, you, how do you how do you even forget that as a player, that that's what happened, you know, in that scenario? So Joe was very valid. He comes up the field, I said, what happened on that belly play and what happened to the one technique? He's got a good idea of what happened. 